Keith, and I'm going to whip them out again. And uh, this is a song I wrote about. <clears throat> I was driving down La Brea in Hollywood, and there's this where you know you can get on that uh, you can get on that uh, shortcut on Highland, cut over on Edgewood and stuff. And so you're, I'm coming down there, and this woman just comes in a car and just dang cuts me off, and I was so angry and upset. But you know what happened? Um, as she was cutting me off, I noticed on her dashboard. She had just beautiful tons of dead red roses on her dashboard. I went, thank you for cutting me off because that's a great song. I went around singing dead red roses. So anyway, in about 20 minutes, this just came pouring out of me, just like Hank Williams when he wrote a song, is, in 20 minutes it's done, you know, just like having a baby. Boop, there it is. And uh, so that's how this song come out of me. So here it is, and it just ends up being about roses and also about eternal life, or life eternal, I should say. So, uh, yeah, I can start. Red roses, red roses, red roses were her favorite flowers. She was a girl of 20 and thought she was lovely. They brought red roses for her living room. Now she's got red roses. Hey. 
Now y'all know I'm going to leave a pretty corpse, so y'all be sure and come to the funeral, okay? <laughs>